Today in our 2013 Volkswagen Passat, we'll be installing the draw tight hitch, part number 24880. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist your selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is four inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 10 and a half inches. This will assist your selecting accessories such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. Now let's go ahead with installation. Before we can begin our install, we'll need to open up the trunk, raise the spare tire cover, and remove the spare tire and spare tire tools. Next, we'll move underneath the vehicle and remove the three Torx bit fasteners and clips securing the rear fascia to the fascia tabs. Next, we'll need to remove the two rear spare tire plugs. To remove them, we'll take a utility knife, cut any sealer from around the plugs, and then cut the plug out. Once we have the plug out, this will be our forward two attachment points for our hitch. Next, we'll need to lower the exhaust. We'll start by removing the two bolts securing the rear exhaust tailpipe to the body of the vehicle. To give ourselves a little more working room, we're gonna go ahead and remove the rubber isolator from the metal exhaust hanger just forward of the rear axle. To remove the rubber isolator, we'll spray it down with some spray lubricant, and then you can use a pair of pliers, pry bar, or in this case, we'll use an exhaust hanger removal tool. Now that we can lower the exhaust down out of the way, we need to remove the rear fascia. To remove the rear fascia, we'll carefully remove the plastic tabs from their inserts as they go around the bumper body. We'll slide a flat bladed screwdriver in, twisting it 45 degrees, allowing it to disconnect the two locking tabs. Then we'll work our way around the fascia until we have it all released and we can remove it. Now with the fascia out of the way, we're ready to go ahead and start installing the hitch. We'll start by installing the bolt plates above the bumper beams. To secure our hitch, we'll be using the new half inch hardware. We'll have the long bolt and conical tooth washer with the teeth of the washer facing the hitch that will go through the hitch into the bolt plates. We'll take our carriage bolt and block, go down through the trunk pan, it'll go through the hitch attachment points and then get secured with a conical tooth washer and nut. Again, with the teeth of the washer facing the hitch. It's a good idea to get next to the hands to help you hold the hitch while you install it into position. We'll feed the driver's side up over the exhaust and bring it tight to the bumper beams. Then we'll install our long bolt into the bolt plate. Now with all the bolt plate fasteners secured, we can go ahead and install the carriage bolt and block. Before we install the carriage bolt and block, we'll use some silicone around the trunk pan holes and around the block itself. Then we'll drop them through the attachment points and secure them with the conical tooth washer and nut. Now with all our fasteners installed, we can go ahead and tighten them down and torque the specifications. Now with the hitch secured and torque specifications, we'll need to cut out the lower fascia we removed earlier to go around the hitch. We'll follow the measurements supplied in our instructions, mark it out with a paint marker, and then cut it out with a rotary zip tool. Now with that done, we can go ahead and reinstall the lower fascia. Lining it up and popping all of the fasteners back into position. Then we'll go ahead and reinstall the outer two lower tabs and fasteners, as the center tab will not be reinstalled. Next, we can go ahead and reinstall the exhaust. And that'll complete the install of our draw tight hitch, part number 24880 on our 2013 Volkswagen Passat.